I come from a rough background. Back in those days, we ran out of food. We was eating syrup sandwiches, sugar sandwiches, where you just take the syrup and put it on the bread. And drunk Hawaiian punch, Capri Suns, all that type of stuff. I'm a junk food addict. I eat candy, all type of sweets. It's been a real battle and a real struggle to where now I'm at this point. Monty Lee, at really the prime of his life, at the age of 36, almost 37, he's facing a really big challenge, uh, which is, is he gonna lose his foot? One of my cousins rushed me to the hospital and they checked my levels and they was looking at me like, how are you even standing here on your feet? You're supposed to be in a coma. Right. I thought I was about to die. That's what they told me that I had diabetes. And at that moment, my life changed. Mm -hmm. Can we look at your foot? Yeah. Would that be all right? Mm -hmm. Got an infection on the top of my toe. Just out of nowhere? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. And But they said you might lose the toe. OK, but I'm going to tell you, you don't want to put any weight on it. Yeah, I'm fighting it. Okay, my friend. Appreciate you. You too. Good Thank, luck. Thanks a lot. I used to think only old people got diabetes. So now waking up every day, having to check blood and make sure these levels are correct and all this different stuff. Trying my best here. Yeah, the more I do this, I'm getting better. I watched the doctors do this, so now I'm trying to be just as good as them. Wrapping it. Whew. Mission complete. Well, I'm at the house, doctor's orders to stay off my foot, so it's like a bed rest thing. It's been a challenge, but I'm maintaining, staying prayed up, and I've been getting blessed. Hi, son. Hi. How are you? Good. How was school today? Good. My son, his name is Montel. He's a junior. He has my whole name. His nickname is Lil Money. Everybody calls him Lil Money. What's up, fella? What's up? Not much. Daddy just chilling. What's wrong? I was praying that you wouldn't have to get your toe cut off. Yeah, they did. Prayer came true. Yeah, see, that was good. Daddy glad you was able to pray for me, too, because I was scared. That's what my main worry is, is for you to do good in school. And play sports. And also take care of yourself. And to follow my dreams. Yep, and to take care of yourself because health is wealth, and Daddy don't want you to be sick like me with this disease that I got. So you gotta. I'm not eat. eating too much sugar. And you gotta eat your vegetables and drink milk and drink a lot of water so your body and your bones can be strong. My son, I love him to death. He's like my whole world. So I'm talking to him about not eating so much candy and the sweet stuff that could build up and might make you feel good now, but affect your body later type stuff. So he's learning. I mean, it feel great to be back in the, in, the, in the studio, active, working on good music again. Got some good news from the doctor saying I'm healing right, everything's coming along. Here I am with Dr. Schillinger all excited, talking about, man, it looked like everything is closed up. I'm not 100%, but I'm getting close, so it's definitely a great feeling to be able to be back doing what I love. But I'm still out here on my grind, I'm going crazy. No way can I get left behind, I'm going crazy. 
he doesn't see you uh, see this video because he's you can stand up this whole time. Yeah, I know, man. I'm gonna get in trouble, but at least he can see I'm doing something positive and enjoying myself while I'm doing it. Look, here's Come the famous me. guy. Hey, How you doing, Doc? Good to see you. You too. Just to be frank with you, I love you, but we're, we didn't make any progress since the last visit. You didn't pick up your cholesterol medicine. Yeah, I know. You man. didn't change your insulin. I remember a lot of days I was just like ready to give up. Then I was I like, know you man, were. I can't give up. I had a talk with my son that kind of tripped me out too, like, just to let me know that it's on his mind as well as mine. Mm -hmm. When I see that he's concerned, it just makes me want to fight harder. Pretty much. Yeah. My name's Marco. I'm one of the nurses here. I'm gonna help get you ready for your procedure, okay? And can you tell me in your words what procedure you're having done today? Up. Remember, I'm Dr. An, and I'm going to be your anesthesiologist okay. today. Um, so I know you've had multiple of these operations for that foot. All right. Hopefully, this is one of the last ones. All right. Um, That'll be the last one. Yeah. As of now, the way I feel, I feel great. I got my shoes on, I got the inserts in there, and y'all see me, I'm in the gym, trying to run around a little bit, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thankful that I was able to have a successful surgery and be able to move forward afterwards. Mm -hmm.